Remember that game you played in middle school? Put your hand on your face? No, wait, wait, I'm scared. <laughs> It's kick off some show. You know what episode it is? It's 42. It's a nice dance, Nate. Yes, it is. Good to see that's back. How are you doing? It's been a while. We miss you. You know what we have for you? Fives. A lot of fives. So you know what we're gonna do? Fives right now. High five number one. Flow type JS from Simple Focus. I know you make lots and lots of responsive typey websites and they go big and small and big and small and big and small and when you have so much text on the big and smalls it gets hard to keep it the right line length because you know to be like readable you should have a certain amount of characters per line and so flowtype.js fixes this it makes it really easy you just set your maximum width and your minimum width and then it just it magically resizes the text so that it's really easy to read how cool is that? High five number one. High five number two. It's the Dipper Oreo Dunking Spoon. It is a little contraption that's a hook. It's made specifically for dunking Oreo cookies so you don't get your delicate little piggies in the milk. Muddling with your cookie bits and cow dairy booby products. So keep it classy. Number three. High five. Book by paper. I know that's terribly generic, but I'm going to explain. Okay, if you have an iPad, you've probably seen the app called paper and it's a really nice little app you can sketch and draw and it keeps things sort of uh, collected into little notebooks which is cool but now you can take those notebooks and print them and they get sent to your door as it, it's, it's like a little book made out of paper and that's why they called it that I was so confused but right okay yes so it's kind of expensive but it's actually a Moleskine custom covers super thick paper uh, it actually folds out. It's really cool. You should go check it out. High five number three. High five number four. Yes, that's that's that many. So when you buy groceries, and I bet you have bought groceries in your life before I have. You know what happens when you buy groceries? You put them in your car, and then you drive to your home. And then when you get to your home, you open your car, and there's groceries. And those groceries look at you right in the face. They issue you a challenge. Can you carry me in a single trip? A yes. Yes, you can. With this handy device? Sucker. <laughs> High five, number five. It's this thing called Facebox, okay? It's where you put your face in a box. Not really, actually. So, when you're designing a mock-up, right? You gotta have, like, avatars. Like, people, not blue people. I know you've seen the movie. But I'm talking about, like, when you have a little picture of the person and they've got, like, comments and social thingies and whatever that stuff right so you have to have pictures for those but sometimes it's hard to find people so you know sometimes we like to put Star Wars characters sometimes we like to put like cartoon characters and really fun stuff but sometimes our clients are like no that's stupid so we have to use like real people so these guys went around New York they took a bunch of pictures of random people they put them in little circles and now they sell them to you for 35 bucks it's called Facebox Woo! I'm a man, baby. That's right, a furry. Testosterone fuel beast of fury and love. And on my face, yeah, you know what that is. That's a magnificent beard. It springs forth my chin like a fountain of joy. Look at me, my eyes are up here, ladies. And I'm here to talk to you about November. You know what happens in November? No shave November. November, for those of you who only have upper lip powers and bubbles. It happens. You see, November is also the month of my birth. It's fitting, right? <laughs> yes, yes it is. God knows what he's doing. But I know that many men aren't so fortunate and you've found yourself a significant other who's, who fears the beard. Your loved ones may have your cojones in a vice. We do all do terrible things for love. And if your significant other allows you to grow you no know, facial hair, she prefers you to be a small, neutered, baby-faced man who's controllable and whipped, I'm sorry for you, my friend, but you can fix this. To hide your shame, you can go to beardthing.com, beardplace.com, at beard.com. You can go to beardhead.com. Yes. You can go there and get yourself a knitted cap with fancy follicles knitted right in and hide the shame of your baby smooth face. My music pick this week is Sunlux. This album has a title, and it's going to appear about right here. 
<laughs> you like that deck on the screen? Sunlux is this crazy dude who makes the most fascinating music. It's a little creepy, or maybe a lot creepy, but I can't stop listening to it. It is so fascinating, like it's electronic with like natural textures of real things that have been played, mashed together, and his vocals sort of make me want to sleep with the lights on with a fuzzy blanket. Yes, it's, it's a very uh, conflicting sort of it's weird thing. It calms you and stresses you out at the same time. It's really, really cool. And I think he has music too. Hey, I'm gonna try to do this now. My music pick is Ghost Upon the Earth by <laughs> Gungor. Yes, Gungor, which sounds like, you know, heavy metal rock and roll. Let's do this right now. But actually, it's like a husband and wife songwriter team um, that can also rock out, but also do all sorts of different styles. And it's actually really good. Kind of cool. So go check it out. Do it. Do it. That's it for episode 42. It's come to our attention that we have some some mimes in the audience and we're going to broadcast and, and do a mime vision as we wrap things up. So, that's all we had for this week. Thanks for watching. The Kick Awesome Show. Don't remember to follow us on Twitter. Okay, bye-bye. How dare you movie products? I did. What is this? That's driving. driving. Are you driving? Where are you going? I don't know. That's what you were doing. I was counting slowly. You're, you're driving. It's, it's 42. 42. My music pick this week is The Place of the Ghosts. That's not right. We really got to work on knowing the names of things that we talk about. Shh. That's what the titles are for. Okay. It's a... It's, we're gonna do this again. Hold on. Beardedhatsheads.com. That is not the name of that site. <laughs> <laughs> would you like that URL? I would. <laughs>